this video, I'm going to give you one of my favorite defenses for bunch tight end in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. And if you're really serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, I want to encourage you to join my True Fan membership. My True Fan membership is just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you'd like. And what it does for you is it gets you access to every ebook that I release for the entirety of the Madden 22 season as long as your subscription is active. So right now we have nine defensive ebooks. My nickel triple defense is over at the website there or at the True Fan membership. My 335 will is over there as well. Um, I've got uh, 245 odd and I can go on and on, but we've got a ton of material over there, including uh, a full ebook on the defense that you're gonna see me run in this video, the nickel triple. Now, again, I think it's the best deal right now in the community for just ten dollars you're not only going to get access to all the ebooks but you're also going to get access to any kind of exclusive tip i've got uh, some tips that i'm going to be working on with like the user turbo tip and some of the bombs and things like that that we can do uh out of bunch and bunch tied in some of the meta stuff and then also um, pretty much anything that i need to cover so that you know what the best players in the world know we're going to put it in the true fan membership for you we're also working on doing a weekly live stream where we do a q a uh, that's going to be coming soon and then we're also working on getting a discord server where you can actually have conversation real time day to day so a lot of stuff that we have on the cusp of really really excited about that true fan membership you guys have been very generous with your support and i just want to encourage you to continue to do that so uh, anyways today we're talking about the pa boot over i think pa boot over my, my personal opinion it's just my personal opinion. I think PA boot over is the hardest play to consistently stop in Madden. The reason why is not just because the of the routes that you get, but because the pass protection out of this is really, really good. Um, you get a delay fade, which block tight ends this year are really good. You can, I mean, it's very difficult to blitz out of a block tight end. And then also, um, this is really good because you get this running back that's in the play action animation. And I found this year that the play action animation uh, really does help the running back significantly pick up pressure. It's harder to dumb out the running back because the running back is technically in a play action animation, not in just a standard pass block animation. So that being said, I find this to be very difficult to stop. Obviously, you've got a great crossing route. Uh, you've got probably the best little underneath check down drag in the game, and you've got an incredible deep post. So Pee over is a handful. And so uh, I'm going to give you what I've got out of the nickel triple. Now nickel triple will align a little bit differently than most formations will align against this. This is part of the reason why I like it because it's it, they're not gonna be able to run. They're not gonna be able to run flood concepts as well when you see how we're gonna align. Um, and I like to use the cover six. I think the cover six is the most adaptable defense in the game. We actually also just released a match game plan over you can get that at the true fan membership as well and where we break down exactly what this coverage does um, nuts and bolts wise but we're going to use this with a couple of adjustments to try to slow down this pa boot over so cover six this is going to help you i'm going to break down one of my favorite bombs in the game and you're going to see why i like cover six so much so one of the best bombs in the game from bunch tight end is basically this we're going to streak the triangle receiver and we're going to slant circle now, most of the time, this coverage what you're seeing right here, you're gonna see, see how that cover six matches that? That's different. So if I just ran, and I'm gonna try to show you here, if I just ran like a standard cover two defense, that would be a touchdown. So let me go to Tampa two here. So you're gonna say I'm in Tampa two, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the exact same route combination, right? And I just want you to watch that post route. You should see that post route will get over the top. Uh, the mid read actually followed it pretty good. Let me take the mid read off the field just because most people don't run mid reads when they run cover two, even though I actually think they should. Um, but let me just put this guy in uh, just something else real quick because I just want you to see what this does to a standard deep half um, uh, against cover two. So you'll see here. See how I can just throw this over the top? And obviously Brady can't make the throw, but you see he's wide open. And uh, if that's Dan Marino, Josh Allen, any of those guys, that's a touchdown. The beauty of this is cover six is technically cover two to the right, but you're going to see here that that deep half safety doesn't get bombed. It doesn't get glitched out. And that's why I like this play because really the hard part about PA boot over is that there are so many things that you have to guard yourself. The delay fade, the drag route, the crossing route, and to an extent, sometimes the post route, depending on what you call. This 
coverage and cover six makes it so that you only have to use your one route and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the only adjustments from an adjustments perspective. All we're going to do is we're simply going to take this guy right here, Reeves, and we're going to put him in a hard flat. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty simple. I like to use this vertical hook. Now, I am going to show you something about the delay fade here in just a second. But I want you to first watch. The first route on the read is the... Um, the circle receiver. So you see here, circle receiver, the, the hard flat is basically gonna take that away. Now let me show you this one more time. Let me just, um, let me use her the D line because I, I just wanna, I just want you to, I wanna walk through this route by route. The other thing I like to do at a triple is go ahead and QB contain. Make sure you pass commit. I really think that's important. So make sure you pass commit out of this because that's gonna significantly help your reaction time and zone. So you see here, watch. See how the flat plays it, takes it away. And the cool part is it kind of doubles as a contain once he gets out of the pocket. So that's part. That's kind of part A of what I wanted to show. Now part B of what I want to show, and don't worry about the crosser, we'll come back to that. I also showed you the post. So we got to worry about the post. So let me just show you real quick. And again, I'm all I'm doing is I'm putting the linebacker on the right in a hard flat and I'm pass committing. And then if you want to, go ahead and QB contain. Um, and what you'll see here is they do a good job of keeping me in the pocket. And then if I try to throw this post, you see the deep half is there. Okay. So post check. So we've taken away the post. We've taken away the drag. And to a degree, we've taken away the scramble. So now that leaves the two best routes in this, in this formation, at least in my opinion. And that's the crosser and the delay fade. So don't worry about the crosser yet. Uh, but I want you to watch the delay fade. So you see here, if I release my delay fade, watch what happens. It gets matched right up the seam and it gets covered. As you can see right there, it's taken away. Now to illustrate this point a little bit further, I'm gonna isolate the three rec hook zone. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna take this guy right here and I'm gonna put him in a purple, okay? And I just want you to watch the three rec hook defender on this play. So if you watch this, we release our delay fade and watch the three rec. Climb, 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 climb. To a degree, it'll climb with it for the majority of the route. Now, you have a decision. You really do. You can do one of two things. You can either man up the delay fade with the vertical hook defender and then use the three rec, or you could just leave the three rec and use the vert hook. The reason I'm saying that is because it's gonna be kind of hard to show this. Um, I'm just gonna show this like this. Your responsibility is the crosser. The crosser is the hardest route to stop from this, in my personal opinion, especially in match. So your job is, you're just gonna take the crosser, okay? So I'm gonna man him up with McCain to kind of simulate that, and I want you to watch the tight end delay fade. So I'm gonna do the whole rollout and everything. I want you to watch this delay fade. See how he matches onto him? And right there, he releases him. That's the reason why I would say go ahead and just man it up just to be safe. Um, then he won't. He will. He will run with him the entire way down the field. He'll cover him if he goes on a corner. He'll cut. He'll do a lot of stuff for you. So just go ahead and man up the tight end. And so what we're gonna do from an adjustments perspective is we're gonna hard flat this guy, and then we're gonna man up this guy on the delay fade. Now you can shoot the run with the three rec. So if I run the ball, watch this. You've got a really easy gap shoot. The formation itself is really hard to run on anyway, and you have a natural gap shoot that you can easily do, okay? Now the, understand that this three rec is a corner. So what you can do also is, for example, you could take, you know, you could take this guy because if they motion to the right is all I'm saying. So like, watch what happens here. So if they motion, let's say they motion Evans, he's gonna go with him, okay? And he's gonna turn into your cloud. So that's just something you have to understand, okay? So that's where I'm saying, you know, you could do one of two things. You could man, you could, you could man this guy up on the tight end, or you could end user this guy, or what you can do, is simply take one of these guys in the line of scrimmage 
and man them up on the tight end. Okay, either way, you're going to be fine. Um, you know, for me, what I like to do is hard flat this guy. I honestly will typically live with the tight end delay fade. Um, and the reason why is because you're going to see here. So, like, if I, if I flip the play, take a look at that. Okay, I could run that. Or I could do this right here. Now, the bottom line is, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to use the crosser, and then you just, you're just going to come back to the delay fade late. So all I have to do is, if you watch my user here, watch my user. I'm going to the crosser. They can't throw it, and then I come back down here. The three rec will carry the delay fade to you is what I'm trying to get at. Um, and I can't show it because I just don't have enough. I don't have enough fingers or hands uh, to be able to do this. But the bottom line is you got the hard flat there for the, the drag. And then you have uh, contain rush. If you want to, you can shift your D-line uh, to the right against this formation if you want to. Um, and, you know, and then you can kind of play like that. What I like about this one is it doesn't require that much adjustments. Literally just... Just do that, and then you're just going to kind of – you're basically just helping the crosser. You have to understand, there's someone that's going to – like, there's someone that's matching the crosser here. And let me just show you. So just imagine for me that the died in goes on his route, okay? And I want you to watch my user. So watch what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that, go here, and then about right there I'm going to let it go. And the reason why is because if he throws that, the guy that's guarding him from the backside will be able to pick it off. I just have to kind of – highlight it for a second and then I'm free to go to the to the delay fade but what I really value about this is let's say let's say for example you start to slow down PBA, PA boot over okay so you start to you start to kind of slow down PA boot over well now what are they going to call and I did not mean to do that I meant to do this so if we just press press and put a hard flat over there what are they going to call then well they're going to call something to the extent of like an inside switch well, we're going to be pretty solid against inside switch. You're just going to go to the tight end, and everything else is going to be matched pretty well. Um, if they try to run a flood to the left side, this is what I absolutely love about this. This is the first thing they're going to try to do, by the way, is they're going to try to run a flood to the, to the left side. Once they see that PA boot over is taken away, that's literally going to be their first step. Well, all you have to do, if they run a flood, you don't guard anything. Everything is going to be completely bagged on the backside if they run a flood. And then what I also like about this defense most is the fact that you have a lot of safety over the top of that deep half. Because I'm telling you right now, this is just, I run bunch tight end, and it's a good offense, right? Um, the most experienced bunch tight end, they're going to go to this. And the reason they're going to go to this is because they're going to think that they can glitch that deep half, which right there they did. And the reason they did is because they didn't pass commit. Because I'll show you, if I pass commit, they're not going to be able to do it. And, you know, that's the thing about PA bit over that not very many people talk about, the importance of pass committing, because it's a play-action play. You have to remember that. Right here, Brady makes a throw of his life. Um, but the bottom line is, this is a very good defense for the majority of what PA boot over is going to do, especially if you as a user – uh, come in and help a little bit because let's say they run the hard flat right or they run this little um, this little uh, slant route okay at the snap of the ball you're going to kind of poach in here help with the slant that frees that guy up and then now you see he runs stride for stride with him obviously there's a significant speed disadvantage between Landon Collins and Scotty Miller in mutt that speed disadvantage is not going to be as significant so you're going to be able to get more stops with this but the bottom line is my recommendation if you want to if you want to have a good shot at defending bunch tight end with match coverage try out cover six and even more so try out the nickel triple and the biggest reason why is because they can't you're going to eliminate the run there's no way they're going to run on you from nickel triple and you're going to be able to blitz them and then the beauty of this is let's say they start doing something like this like this flood then i can just simply run very simple pressures that are easy. I just blitz this guy on the right. Nothing lost either. I got cloud flat. I got good box coverage. And you see how the defense works. So that's how I like to defend uh, uh, defend this. Simply shadow the crosser. Come back if you need to to the delay fade. 
and you're going to be in pretty good shape. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get um, my entire nickel triple defense or my entire match defense, you can get all of my eBooks by joining my true fan membership for just two, $10 a month. It's a Patreon. And like I said, you get access to exclusive tips, meta updates, um, film studies, all of that stuff. We're actually going to be doing some exclusive live streams, which I'm really excited about Q and a style. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you want to support me, the best way to support me is to join the true fan membership. And remember you can, you can cancel whenever you want. Okay. So if you want to get the eBooks, um, again, that's how you do it. If you want to get just the individual triple ebook, I'll put a link down there for you as well. But my recommendation is to get the true fan membership because for just 10 bucks a month, you get everything. So thanks for watching. There's a link down below if you want to join it and we'll see you guys next time.